I promised myself that I would never, ever, ever do another unsupported Mac video for as long as I do. Until today. Okay, before we go any further, um, let me read you the requirements. It says, uh, requirements are early 2008 or newer Mac Pro, iMac or MacBook Pro, late 2008 or newer MacBook Air or aluminum Univati MacBook, or early 2009 or newer Mac Mini or white MacBook. The early 2008 ones, the early 2007, 2006, they do not work on this. Um, not yet, at least. But for right now, you know, if you have that in your category, basically if you were dropped after El Capitan, this is for you. But, as you can see, my iMac, which is early 2009, is running the Mac OS Sierra Beta. Let me focus that real quick. Zoom in a little bit so that you can actually see. See? iMac, 20 inch. Oh, mid-2009, excuse me. Not early. <clears throat> um, still unsupported. And, as you can see, what's the weather going to be like today? Here's the weather today. So, I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep upgrading. So, let's do it. Before I go any further, let me go ahead and say, this is not my programs, these are not my files, all the credit goes to a guy named Doss Dude one he is incredible. He's the only guy to ever bypass the entire system integrity protection inside of the installer, um, which is something we tried for months and couldn't get done. So, credit goes to him. And let's do this thing. Okay, so, three things you're going to need. First thing is the actual Mac OS installer which is right there. Now, if you don't have a developer account, um, there's always the online way. I wouldn't recommend it. <clears throat> I don't condone piracy, but I will leave a link in the description to a channel who does. And only because you need to know if your Mac can run it or not. Second thing you want to do is go to Disk Utility. I'm searching for it in Spotlight like a moron, um, which is no big deal. I do moronic things. And you need to have a flash drive plugged in, and you need to go ahead and download the Mac OS Sierra Patcher, which the link will be in the description. That's DOS Dude One's amazing little patcher. Now, you search for your flash drive. Mine is right there. We hit Erase. You want to make sure that it's OS X Extended Journaled, and you want to make sure that it's the GUID partition map. Doesn't matter what you name it, as long as you can keep up with it. Hit Erase. Okay, once that's done, we go into the Sierra Patcher, which is this little app right here. We hit Open. First thing you want to do is browse for your volume, which mine is going to be Untitled 1. If it says untitled, that's probably your hard drive, unless you've renamed your hard drive something else. Do not, I repeat, do not restore this onto a hard drive partition. Do it on a flash drive. You don't want to screw your computer up. You hit browse. Um, applications. And then, I'm looking for I. 
I'm sorry, I'm on my little screen again. You click the install 10.12 developer preview, hit open. It's going to say successful. Do not drag and drop this or it will say unsuccessful. And then you hit start operation. Yes. And it's going to ask you for your sudo password eventually, right here. And then all you want to do is let this restore and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so when it's done patching, you're going to need one last thing. You're going to need a wired keyboard with an option button. Um, I usually use a wireless one, but fortunately I kept my keyboard that came with my eMac. Um, if you have a Windows keyboard, it's the Alt key. For some reason, these little wireless ones, they don't, they don't work. That's fine, though. You know, like I said, I kept the one for my Mac. I apologize for the external noise. Uh, the town department has decided to pave our roads, even though we don't need it. Um, great job. Thanks to them. Okay, so you keep holding that option. God almighty. <clears throat> Scroll over to OS 10 base system. And here's the best part. It'll boot. And number one, it won't give you problems with Wi-Fi or not Wi-Fi, but USB, and number two, it won't give you that little error symbol. It's just going to boot. It does take a little while, and maybe I should have stopped the video, but somebody could say, hey, you switched boards or whatever, you know. Today was not a good day to be filming. Okay, so, like I said, you have your USB support now. See? Um, run the installer like you normally would. I've already ran it. But when you're done, go to Utilities. Um, you'll have to boot back into the USB drive. Go to Utilities. Click Mac OS Post Install. <clears throat> now, it says that my detected model is an iMac 9.1. Let me zoom in so that you guys can see. Says my detected models an iMac 9.1. That is actually correct. So I would click iMac 9.1 down here at the bottom. And it's going to say the boot.plist patch, the legacy USB support injector. But if I want some more stuff, like if I want HDMI audio support or stuff like that, I can click it. And then you click the hard drive that you want to patch and you click patch which again I've already done so I'm not going to now when you're done you should be able to boot right into Mac OS it's not OS 10 anymore and I'm having a hard time remembering that but um you should have no trouble booting into Mac OS uh, of course you're gonna have a setup screen I have a login screen because I've already done this. Okay, um, one thing, one last thing I want to point out. Some of you may not have Wi-Fi support, and if you don't, um, they're still working on it. But for right now, you know, we've we've got until August, I think, till this thing drops. Just go back to El Capitan. Um, it'll be okay. It it really will. Eventually they're going to have a Wi-Fi support. If you don't want to wait though, if you're like me and you're like, I got to have it now. I just, I want to try it. I want to test it out and play with it. Then I will leave a link to some supported Wi-Fi cards. Um, I know for a fact that if you actually did my last video upgrading your MacBook 4.1 to the 5.2, then you're not going to have supported Wi-Fi. Um, 2008 late MacBooks I don't think have supported Wi-Fi um, and I want to say the MacBook Air 2 one doesn't have supported Wi-Fi but don't quote me on that um, but like I said they're working really hard they're trying 
but at this point it would be easier to just get a USB Wi-Fi card or a replacement Wi-Fi card. Um, other than that, enjoy your now, again, supportive Mac. And make sure to tune in next Thursday, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, um, when I talk about why Apple didn't support your Mac in the next Spark Tech podcast. So this is Adam, and I hope this was a lot easier than last time. Enjoy.